There's a little arm there, little leg there. Oh. That was an event. So here's what happened. Good morning! <laughs> Today's the day we are getting ready. Well, actually, we're ready. We are just about to leave and go have our very first ultrasound for baby. Not you, baby, other baby. Nick is meeting us there at 9 15, the appointment's at 9 30. I'm like so nervous. I'm, I'm not that nervous. I'm more nervous for, because it's a new doctor. I Oh yeah, I never mentioned. So this is a different doctor that I've been to last time. Last time I went to this um, kind of place <gasps> where it was like you would have a different person every time. It wasn't bad, but um, I kind of wanted to just try what it would be like this time around having one particular doctor kind of knowing who I was gonna see each time. Yeah. So um, I'm more nervous for that it just being a new place and everything than I am the actual appointment. I've also never had a vaginal ultrasound. I don't know if it's gonna be that. I'm assuming it is because I'm only eight weeks. But here we go, Bean, are you ready? All right, let's go find daddy. Who is that stranger? What are you doing? You wanna take this whole thing in? No, you can just carry her. Hey. Well, it smells good in this way. In here. Shouldn't. <laughs> like fruit. Are you excited, Emmy? Get ready for intense camera angles. All right, one or two. What? One or two. What? <laughs> Vini? I, I want more brothers and sisters. <laughs> HGTV on, so that's how you know. All right, we're here. Had a little bit of an incident in the bathroom, but I'll tell you guys about that <laughs> later. Here's my thing. I am getting a vaginal exam, so I'm supposed to be getting undressed right now. Don't look. <laughs> and I'm gonna have you lay on back and just scooch down. Yep, just like that. It's been a while. I'm just gonna take a little look first and get my bearings. Alrighty. The little heart is going a mile a minute. Just like it should. So. <laughs> that is a giant. <laughs> so there's the little heart beating. In me. The little wiggle wiggle. The umbilical cord or some sort of That's umbilical sag. cord right okay. there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So we'll take a quick listen here for to the heart for just a second. He's like, wow. So cute. Just one, Emmy. I only see one. So yeah, funny. I was teasing him. <laughs> I've been teasing him, of course. 153. He's just trying to make me even more nervous. All right. <laughs> 153. <laughs> yep, and that's great. Right in the middle. Aww. I'm trying to get that cute little gummy bear look for you. <laughs> so I always think they look like little gummy bears. They do. <laughs> That's a good nickname. Gummy bear. Gummy bear. We call, that's Emerson by the way, we call her Beanie. Cause she was yeah. little Bean for a while and then she became Beanie. So we're like, what are we gonna call this one? Baby. So, and there's a little arm there, little leg there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Beanie, you're gonna have a little gummy bear. Take a little measurement from head to bottom here. So that's the head of her eye. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting you spot on. I mean, just a day difference isn't really a difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> so, little head in this picture is right here. And then little arm, okay. little leg. This is the umbilical cord. So, we're kind of looking a little bit down on, on the baby in this picture. Sure. Oh, she's like, 
Now we've seen the baby, so can I be the baby again? Oh, she looks sleepy. Love baby! A healthy baby! <laughs> just one confirmed healthy baby. Heartbeat was 153. Yeah. Baby looked good. This little baby is getting real tired of being here. All right, on to the next room. Get a flu shot. This one is fighting sleep so hard, but everything's been great. Nick had to leave, so I'm left carrying her around, which has been interesting. All right, guys, I'm back in the gown. This is gonna be difficult. No, no, how am I supposed to wrangle you? There are puffs everywhere. The doctor is gonna walk in and just be like, not going as planned. We're definitely gonna need to find someone to hold Emerson while I get another exam. Um, just got the flu shot with her sitting on my lap, though. You ready for a nap, aren't you? One eternity later. <gasps> Whoa, my gosh, we are finally done. What time is it? It is 11.16, I got here two hours ago. That was an event. So here's what happened. Emerson has her bottle right now, so she's okay. Nick was able to come with me for the ultrasound part. And then he asked me if he could go back to work and I thought that the pretty much hard part was over, just having like someone hold her while I was like having my ultrasound. But little did I know that was just the beginning. That was the easy part looking back. The whole like thing was crazy. I got some clips, but I don't know. They're probably like, really hectic. And the ultrasound went so well, as you guys saw. Saw the baby right away, only one baby. Heartbeat was great, 153 beats per minute. Just really cute, everything measured almost exactly to my last period. So actually the baby measured one day ahead. So like measured for exactly eight weeks today. After the ultrasound was sent back to the waiting room and I thought that the next part was just paperwork. And that's when Nick left, went back, this is a long story, went back into another room with a different person and they just walked me through like, you know, foods you can eat, foods you can't eat, all that stuff, medications. And I was thinking like, like, okay this is good Emerson's sitting on my lap and I had to sign some things and I can do this with her right okay she's like next all right so we're gonna send you to the doctor she'll just do a um go over your urine culture and I don't remember what she said so then I'm taken back to the waiting room to wait for the doctor and the doctor calls me they called me in right away which was funny because then I had to stand in the room waiting for at least 20 to 25 minutes which which would have been fine if it was just me but guys this is when emerson lost it and she's usually really happy you know that but if she needs her nap it's interesting and there wasn't anything that i could do about it so i was walking around for 20 minutes bouncing her in my robe trying to keep my robe closed because I was like someone's gonna open the door at any second she would not take her bottle i have a bottle for her she just doesn't take it very well when she's out and distracted so she wouldn't really drink the bottle i tried giving her puffs she ate them and then she just started crying and i could hear like nurses would walk by and they're like oh that just sounds so sad a nurse actually came in and did my flu shot which i had to sit with Emerson on my lap, get my flu shot, which wasn't bad. The doctor finally got there. This is a brand new doctor, didn't know. I loved her, she was awesome. The only thing is, I think she was pregnant, which kind of worries me that, you know, she wouldn't actually be there for my delivery because she was further along than me, but maybe by that time she'll have come back to work, who knows. Then I had to have my pelvic exam and she's like, yeah, do you wanna just like, I can help you, I can prop you up here and then she can sit kind of on your lap. So Emerson sat like, across my waist as I had my pelvic exam. Everything checked out. Everything is perfectly healthy with the baby. I have another appointment in four weeks in March. Praise the Lord for that though. So I'm like, okay, yay, my pelvic exam's done. She's like, you can get dressed again. She, and then you're gonna have to go have your blood drawn. I was like, seriously? So they sent me back out to the waiting room to wait to have my blood drawn. And then they called me in to have my blood drawn. And Emerson sat there on my lap. Next time I will definitely bring backup um, and or bring Emerson in her stroller so that way I don't have to be holding her the whole time with all and it was just like hectic because I had her diaper bag and I had all the they gave me a bag full of things and anyway <laughs> overall hectic experience but love 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 my new doctor and very very thankful that this baby which I still haven't processed is actually in there I've now seen it still doesn't make any sense um is all healthy so yay <gasps> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you are new, be sure to hit subscribe. Um, crazy things are coming up. And I love you guys. And leave a comment and like this video. Bye!